Hey, it's Michelle here back from RadiantBrownBeauty.com just in case you're new to my channel. And today I have come on to share with you really quickly how I decided to straighten my hair. It has been almost a year and what I will say is I really appreciate being able to have to straighten it because what happens is you really get to see how much length you have sort of maintained over a period of time. So I'm going to share with you a picture from last year when I straightened. Okay, so as you can see, it is a really big difference. I didn't even feel like my hair was growing. I actually think it's getting fuller, more so than it's gaining in length, but you know, whatever. The hair show is coming up this weekend in Atlanta, and I would be the one to straighten their hair to go to a natural con hair conference, right? Makes no sense whatsoever. Everybody's gonna be, you know, sort of like taking in all the sights of beautiful natural hair, curls and kinks and waves and whatever. But I went and straightened. I just had the itch and I scratched it. So what I'm actually gonna do is, I do plan on working out while I am there at the hotel. So when I work out, I'm gonna sweat in my head. And since I know I'm gonna sweat, all I'm gonna do is go back to the hotel when I'm done working out, Spritz it, let my curls revive, do their thing, seal it, and go. But for the first day, for, well, it, today is Sunday, it's Easter, happy Easter. And I'm going to just keep my hair straight for, for a week. You know, when I get home, I'll wash. But I wanted to show you really quickly what I use to straighten. I use one pass, I'm not going for bone straight, but this is my flat iron. I use a Remington flat iron, it's digital. So when you press, oops, let me hold that on. I don't know if you can see the degrees. Right now, ooh, it's kind of hard to see the degrees on this, but let me see if I can make this a little bit clearer. I'm about to burn the heck out of myself while I'm at it. I think it's just too much light, but it's at 360 right now. It has a plus and a minus sign. This goes up to 430 degrees. It's at 360 by default, but I only use it to straighten my hair at 300. Now, to protect my hair from heat damage, first of all, I henna my hair because henna adds strength to my hair. It really does help it to um, be stronger as well as cover up my grays. I use Jane Carter Nourish and Shine to sort of seal in that moisture. There it is, my Jane Carter Nourish and Shine. And I use this heat protectant beyond the zone, turn up the heat. I got it from Sally's. It was actually rec recommended by the person there. She says they use it in salons. I've got a small amount left, not because I flat iron my hair, but my daughter uses this to flat iron her weave with great success. So, as far as my hair goes, it's not bone straight. You know, there's still some wave there, but I'm really happy with just being able to kind of relax my curls a little bit and just to wear it in a different fashion. And I just wanted to share that with you. Um, you know, I know people go out and they spend so much money on these flat irons. I don't remember how much this Remington was, but it is excellent. It's, it's ionic, it's ceramic, it's tourmaline. I even shared in a video a long time ago how I use a Remington hair dryer, which I use to do the tension blow dry method. But I love Remington brand. It's very affordable and it works just as well as any $200, you know, flat iron or whatever. And I mean, one pass three at 300 degrees, these are my results. At my roots, I did kind of pass a little bit more than once only at the roots just because, you know, the roots are really stubborn in my crown area. But other than that, this is a great flat iron. I love it and I plan on flat ironing my hair once a year. I just wanted to share that with you. Thanks so much for watching. Have a blessed day.